The key thing about virtual worlds is persistence of place. And that's part of what we try to put into the methodology of this project by giving people space in Ethnographia Island. I mean, the avatar has to be in a place or it's not an avatar, it's a screenshot. Bodies are always in places. Embodiment is always in placement. To sort of go around and just hear your quick thoughts, what does your avatar mean to you? My virtual body. It's me. Trady and Donna are one and the same. And we find that so many of the people in our community have created avatars that are the symbolism of who they are. And it kind of rethinks the way we think about who we're looking at. My mother turned 92 and she just found out that I'm on Second Life because my sister with dementia told her, <laughs> did you know that she's on this game and she's married to a white man and she's got six babies? And my mother <laughs> out of her mind. <laughs> I feel bad for her. An aspect of your persona is allowed to be expressed. As you see me, I'm cute, okay? And I'm not necessarily cute in the physical world, depending on who you are, but here, I'm less threatening. I see myself as somebody who has a little different Abilities. We're the same person inside, but because you were dressed in a different avatar, either you were accepted or people say, Oh my god, you're so adorable! Or they just feel that you're some sort of freak and look straight through you. Being disabled, you actually get the exact same reaction. I have Parkinson's disease, and yes, when I'm symptomatic, I'll have the tremors or the shaking hands. I find little tricks to dealing with it so people don't see it. But I have a lot of the invisible symptoms, and that is major debilitating fatigue. High anxiety, depression's a big part of it. When people talk about invisible symptoms, they look at me and they think, you liar. Being deaf, in real life, I have an invisible barrier. I cannot talk to people because I cannot hear them. I was constantly overlooked growing up because they knew my family, other people, they knew. So I became a part of the same life for them. We are not disabled. We are normal people in abnormal bodies. Our avatar is a different model of ourselves because you can upgrade through the experience. I want to feel like me. My avatar is an ageless self. It wasn't quite long until I found Gator because I felt like myself. As I get more confident about my body in real life, I put more investment into my avatar because I feel that beauty is, is what I'm living. Use the right three lanes to take exit 433B. I was on a conversation with my best friend talking about Second Life, and my daughters will look at each other and they'll be like, they talk about that like it's real. 